Hey, what up? It's Cinder here, back for another 36 Lessons of Vivek Sermon 12. This one's a little bit more funky. This gets into uh, the appearance of Molek Ball, the king of rape. So things are about to get messed up here for a few sermons. Keep your sanity. As the Hortator pondered the first lesson of the ruling kings, Vivek wandered into Mournhold and found Arm with a pair of lovers. Set had divided himself again. Vivek then leapt through into their likeness to observe, but he gained no secrets that he did not already know. He left a few of his own behind to make the journey worthwhile. Then Vivek left the capital of Beloth and wandered far into the ash. He found a span of badlands to practice his giant form. He made him his feet a less dense material than the divine to keep from falling waist deep into the earth. At this point, the first corner of the house of troubles, the prince Moleg Ball made his presence known. Vivek looked on the king of rape and said, How very beautiful you are that you do not join us. And Moleg Ball crushed the warrior poet's feet, which were not invulnerable, and had legions cleave them off. Mighty fires from the beginning place were brought like nets to hold Vivek, and he let them. I would prefer, he said, some kind of ceremony if we are to be married. And the legions that took the feet were summoned again in order to begin a banquet. Pomegranates sprang from the badlands and tents were raised. A throng of Velothi mystics came, reading the passages of the severed feet on the ground, weeping until the scriptures were met. We must love each other briefly, Vivek said, if at all. I am needed to counsel the Hortator in more important matters because the Dwemeri High Priests stir up trouble. You may have had my head for an hour. Moleg Ball rose up and extended six arms to show his worth. They were decorated in runes of seduction and its reverse. They were decorated in anointed calendars of longer worlds where he spoke of mating monsters fell out. Where must it go, he said. I told you, Vivek said. I am meant to be the teacher of the King of Earth. Ah, Altadun, Gahtok, Pathom. With these magic words, the King of Rape added another. Kim, which is the secret syllable of loyalty. Vivek had what he needed from the Daedroth and so married him that day. In the hour that Malay Ball had his head, the King of Rape asked for proof of love. Vivek spoke of two poems to show him such, but only the first is known. I am not sure just how much glass it took to make your hair, twice as much, I'm sure, as the ocean have to share. Hell, my sweet, is a fiction written by those who tell it. My mouth is skilled at lying, and its alibi a tooth. The sons and daughters of Erlak and Molek Ball number in the thousands, the name of the mighty string is a power. Dalag, Mor, Jil, Hait, Ahum. The ending of the words is Amos, survive.